Hello everyone in this video let us continue looking at the Jira REST API and in today's video we will discuss uh, how to fetch the list of uh, filters in your uh, Jira instance. So today I want to discuss this uh, endpoint which is uh, uh, REST slash API slash 3 slash filter slash search. So basically, as the name suggests, we can also fetch the list of uh, all the filters or rather I should say the filters that you have access to or the user you're using to, to basically test this uh, API. And uh, using this, uh, this particular endpoint is very straightforward. So all you need to do, you need to use this uh, you, this, this particular uh, path. And before I talk about the endpoint, I just want to show you the filters that I have access to. Now, if I look at my Jira instance, I can go to my uh, filters on top and then I can click on view all filters. And of course, uh, I'm on the cloud. Now, filters uh, are really important uh, uh, concept in uh, not really a concept but it is really important to know about filters because filters are used in different places so people use filters to save their searches they use filters to basically search within existing set of uh, issues people use filters in dashboards people use filters uh, when they are using uh, agile boards and and of course a lot more just like dashboards in the previous video we discussed uh, how to fetch the list of dashboards and how to also know about the owner and access level or rather i should say the uh, uh, you know how to f how to find out uh, who can access the dashboard and uh, and of course uh, dashboard is important but uh, filters are equally important uh, and they are actually used in uh, different places so just like uh, the previous example, uh, what uh, we'll be doing today, we'll be testing this endpoint. So I have used this uh, path, REST API 3 slash filter slash search, and the method is simple get method. If I click on, if I basically press this button send, it will give me a response 200, which is always good to see. And uh, now I can see the list of all the filters. So I can see my filter that says admin issues, all issues, and so on. Now, for some of those, some of these filters, for example, if I look at admin issues and if I compare it with um, maybe some other uh, filter, uh, I'm just trying to understand where I can uh, find the share information. So right now it says uh, so right 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 now let me just collapse everything and uh, i can take a look at all the filters which is great and uh, as compared to the dashboard in the dashboard the json we were able to figure out very easily uh, if the dashboard was shared with someone now let us go to the to the uh, documentation again and uh, let, let us try to figure out uh, what we can do further with this. Is there any option to maybe expand this? So if you read this, it's, it says returns a paginated list of filters. And uh, it is similar to the get filters, except the results can be refined to include filters that have specific attribute. Now, uh, permissions required, none. However, only the following filters that match the query parameter are returned. Okay, so basically you need to uh, use these filters to figure out uh, if the filter is owned by a user, if the filter shared with a group, and so on. So le let us try if we can use uh, one of these uh, filters. So maybe it says right now group name, and uh, it says uh, project ID. So it says group name used to return filters that are shared with a group 
that matches share permission dot group dot group name. Now uh, let us see if we can use this. And uh, let me first share this particular filter, maybe with a group. So if I take a look, look take a look at my admin issues, and if I share it, um, I need to I think go to the filter first. It's a bit. Uh, I mean. Uh, we can always go to the filter and then click on the share. Hopefully, uh, not this, not this. But if I click on these three dots, the interface on. Uh, okay, I need to click on details. So we can now change the permissions. I can click on edit filter. Then I can uh, maybe share it with the uh, site admins. So let us do that. And if I go back to my filter list. Of course, right now we just have, I believe, only one filter shared with uh, this group called uh, Space Users. Let me just take a look at, uh, uh, sorry, Site Admins, Site hyphen Admins. Now, let us take a look at the filter list. Uh, view all filters and if I go back to this endpoint, let me try if I can use something like this. Uh, what is the exact parameter name? Group name. So group name is the parameter uh, name that I can hopefully use. So group, uh, no, group name is equal to site hyphen admins. So I'm doing that and if I click on send, uh, and I do have one valid response. So it looks good. And uh, let me just share maybe one more filter. Maybe uh, let us find so filter for CTS board. Let us use this one. And if I uh, click on the option on top, if I can find it, yes. So it says the details and I can edit the permissions. Let us share it again with the same group. We just have one group in our case, of course, but if I go back to my endpoint and, and if I click on this, hopefully it will uh, return me. Let me click on it again. Okay, so let me just wait for, let me just, you know, verify whether it has been shared or not. I'll take a look at my, so right now it says admin issues shared with site admins but not the CTS board. It is still private. Maybe it is, uh, let me just click on it again one more time. Uh, maybe for some reason my cloud instance is really slow. Today is Monday. Maybe that is why. <laughs> um, but it's okay. We'll try again. Let us click on the, okay, so I, for some reason the share was not saved or I know the reason because I didn't really click on the add button maybe previously. Uh, it's a common mistake. <laughs> Hopefully this time it is uh, now shared. And uh, let us take a look at the details. So yes, it is now shared. And if I now take a look at my JSON response, hopefully it will uh, return me two items. Yes, so now we have two items. So if you're trying to fetch the list of filters, you need to basically use these uh, these parameters to search based on uh, filters owned by a user, owned by maybe a specific group and so on. You can of course take a look at uh, this uh, list here. So uh, this is all I wanted to share in this, uh, in this uh, video and uh, uh, the concept of filter as I mentioned before is really important in Jira and uh, when you're doing, let us say, some migration or when you're moving instances or maybe you're doing some automation, filters is a way to basically fetch the list of issues and filters are always associated with a user and they can also be shared with other users or maybe group or maybe project roles. And uh, uh, as I mentioned before, filters can be used in different places. So it is very important to learn how to, uh, how to basically uh, 
fetch the list of filters in case you need to do it now you know how to do it so i hope you learned something new to it new today in this video and uh, uh, you also enjoyed watching this video thank you very much